welcome to my slightly updated like little nook mum bought some new pillows from kmart and we had too many pillows on the couch so i had free reign and i picked this fluffy one and this pink one and so this is kind of now like my makeup and reading nook i think anyway Welcome to another video. In this one, I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing too much. However, tomorrow I am going into the city with a friend to catch up. I haven't seen her since before Christmas, so we have plenty of things to catch up on. I'm also going into the city so I can do a run of how long it takes me to actually get to my university so that when I start attending, I actually know when I need to leave, how long it will take me to get there via public transport and all that because I need to walk to a bus stop, take the bus to the train station, take the train into the city, then jump on another train to get to another station along. And on that, I have some pretty exciting news. So university doesn't start for another month. My orientation is on the 26th of February. However, my uni is running a summer program for two weeks and as a currently enrolled student in the Bachelor of Design, I can choose to attend for free and it'll advance my subjects so that it'll lower my uni week for the first trimester from three to four days to two to three. So basically I will complete three out of five of my subjects early. So I have enrolled in that and have decided to, you know, just do that summer program mostly because I just haven't got that much stuff to do, honestly. Like, and also I'm ready to jump in. I'm ready to actually start uni and then after the two week program I have like another three weeks until university actually starts so I'm feeling I'm feeling very good about this decision also my boyfriend is currently in Italy with his family for three weeks I might have mentioned that in my previous video my beachside vlog um so those two weeks will cover the second like the last two weeks in his away so it'll keep me busy at least until he gets back because let me tell you he is like where i get pretty much all my social interaction him and like the and the friend i'm seeing tomorrow in the city because guys i'm ready to move on from high school i want to make an entirely new friend group in uni i'm not that interested in staying in touch with many people from high school other than you know just following them on social media so it, it it's not as sad as it sounds <laughs> it sounds pretty sad to say that i get all my social interaction from my boyfriend but it's just because you know high school's over neither of us are interested in you know keeping in contact with many people and waiting for union to start we're not like we're not overly social people <laughs> anyway it is currently sunday and while i sit here i'm going to do a bit of a reading sprint of sorts i'm just going to be forcing myself to read first couple chapters of A House of Earth and Blood if you saw, again, if you saw my last video you'll know that I finished reading A Court of Silver Flames and then I moved on to this. I am on, only on page 10. I'm on page 10. <laughs> yes, I've heard the first 100, 200 pages is a bit slow but hard to get into, especially since it's such a change of pace from Akatar. So I'm going to try my best to push through anyway, especially since I do have the third book on pre-order and since that's only like nine, ten days away, I need to get through this and House of Sky and Breath so I can, you know, revisit my beloved Akata characters in that book and reread Throne of Glass. If you have seen my, if you follow me on TikTok, you will have um, heard me mention this in my book review of the Akatar books 4 and 5 uh, that I, four years ago when I was 14, I read the first couple books of Throne of Glass 
and I did not finish it. I just kind of fell off the series. And again, I was 14, which like I understood most stuff. I had, I was pretty, this, and this isn't a brag. This is just like, I was pretty advanced in terms of reading because I've always been a reader, but I think I'll probably appreciate it more now, especially with this whole like mass universe, like, crossovers everywhere and I'm seeing all these theories and I'm like okay I need to reread Throne of Glass so I can annotate everything. I am seeing so many theories and it's just all in my brain and I need to be able to like annotate the books and I book tabs and be like this is connected to this. <laughs> so yeah I'm gonna do a little bit of reading right now while I have my signature iced coffee. If you guys have been subscribed to me for a while and watching my videos for a while, you will know that coffee is like my thing. Before I got this bad girl, coffee was my main source of hydration. On the topic of reading, really quick, if any of you are interested in me just doing like a real time read with me kind of vlog where I just sit and read for like an hour and you just do the same and follow along at home, um, then please do let me know because that would be really cool. Alright, then get off TikTok. Seriously, read. This is why I need the, the camera. This is why I need you watching me for discipline. <laughs> everyone as I told you yesterday I'm headed into the city today so I'm currently just walking to the nearest bus stop and this is you know this is my fit for today um yeah I will check in with you guys when I am on my way it's not the weather is really cloudy today and I don't like it, but we're fine. I'll check in in a little bit. Bye. everyone yes I've changed and I'm in bed for context and this is a bit TMI I am having a period this week and while my period hasn't actually arrived the cramps have and they're not like that bad but it's just like I haven't had a period in like ages since I usually skip them so anyway I'm gonna show you a mini haul of what I got first of all I got this ring here. Is that focused? I can't really tell. Anyway, it's really pretty. Um, I got this little tote bag from Muji. I got a yellow pen from Muji because in the set of colored pens I got last year that I still use, they don't have any yellow. And I kind of want and need a yellow one. So, they only have like the clicky one though. 
but it's fine. Um, I also got a set of 0.5 um, pens. Again, these are like clicky ones. I usually use the lid ones, but they didn't have any and I needed the pens. So, yep. I got this little frame because I'm going to use this to make my boyfriend a Valentine's Day gift. I'm going to like take a piece of card and like do some kisses and like lipstick marks on it and put it in here. And then I just got this mascara from Mecca. Um, this is the Wink Ink. Um, this one I got because I wanted one that would maybe give me a bit more length because my current mascara doesn't give me that much length. So, so yeah. Good morning everyone. Today is going to be a little bit of a reset day, I think. As you saw yesterday, I was a little bit down and as you can see right now, my room is a mess. <laughs> So I'm just gonna spend the morning cleaning, tidying up. Um, I'll probably need a vacuum, I need to put away clothes, I need to make my bed, whole bunch of stuff. So that is what I'm going to be doing right now. Also, I am currently wearing the new mascara I got and it's giving me so much more length than the previous mascara I've been using and I actually love it. I'm also wearing my ring and it's really cute. Anyway, um, yeah, it is time for a little bit of a Tuesday, <laughs> a Tuesday reset. So let's go. Let's start with clothes. I think we're going to start with taking care of the clothes. <laughs> I desperately need to wash my boyfriend's t-shirt that he gave me before he went to Italy. I've been wearing it so much and it is now just really sweaty. And the armpits are like solid. So I'm just gonna put that in my basket.
morning everyone so i just received the books that i ordered last week i'm not sure if you can see but my bookshelf has a bit of space where it is and i have cleared that space because i have ordered the next couple throne of glass books i do have the first one um and i was waiting to get the rest um when i first read the series it was from a library and i like owning books now so <laughs> i have bought the next three i believe including assassin's blade so i've bought prequel and then second and third books let's see if i can open this um so i'm gonna be putting those on my shelf and then next week like in a week's time um i should be receiving the third crescent city book because i did pre-order that on amazon so i'm kind of hoping that it arrives on its release date but i've never really um received a pre-ordered item before so i'm not really sure but let's see if i can open this Yes. Okay, the reason I did this online instead of going into a shop is because Dimex online, you can get the actual... Oh, Grogu, that is not stable. That's... Grogu, no. It, look. It's not staying exactly. <laughs> is because they have the original covers and the first Throne of Glass I have is its original cover. And personally, I do not like the new covers. That's just me, but I don't, I really don't. I know that SJ Mass said that the Assassin's Blade, she prefers to have it go after Crown of Midnight, but I think I'm just gonna put it as the, in the prequel spot. And I'll probably buy the next ones like as I'm reading the series again. Obviously, I still have Crescent City. So after I read the third Crescent City, I'll probably go back to Throne of Glass since there's a lot of theories surrounding that and the massverse, the multiverse of massness. <laughs> the early afternoon setting up things for uni next week and then when I officially begin so I've submitted all my like fee help stuff and I've also gotten my own email which is very exciting so that's kind of what I've been doing and I've just eaten lunch so I'm just gonna do a little bit of painting to relax and then I might do a little bit of work and maybe read or do some personal projects or something haven't really got that much to do but
everyone. I'm just gonna talk you through the plans for today while I make myself look a bit more camera ready. So today is a bit of an errands day. Mum doesn't have to work today since it's Australia day. Um, so it's public holiday. And so we're gonna go like grocery shopping. There are a couple things I need to buy for uni that I've had to source, that I have to source myself. It doesn't come in the art pack. And then other than that, I have a party tonight that I'm going to. Um, as for the rest of the weekend, I don't really think I have any plans for the weekend. Tomorrow I'll probably do like some editing and like edit this video and um, maybe like schedule it to release on Sunday. That's what I did last time. And I think that really takes some of the pressure off if I schedule it for like midnight Sunday instead of just like some random time on Sunday. <laughs> then Sunday, again, no plans, but I'll be organizing my stuff for uni um, for like the summer program that I'm doing. So I'll be like packing my bag, laying out an outfit, making sure like all my alarms are set and that everything's in order. my hair before I go out tonight um, so it's not looking amazing let me give it another brush there we go this is my final look for the day very light makeup but I'm gonna get dressed and then I'm not sure if we'll be going out to run errands immediately or if like mom's just doing a bit of a cleaning spree so might be Doing my own thing for a little bit, but yeah, we'll see. Medium meal, please. Yeah. With sweet and sour sauce. Yeah. And a chocolate shake. Yeah. Thank you, that's all. Thank you. Hi everyone, I just got back from the shops. I couldn't really film because I was carrying a lot of things. But I'm going to give you a little bit of a haul of what I got and then I think I might wrap up this video just because I was editing this morning before lunch and I realized that I've kind of already hit like the 25 minute mark and I usually try to keep my videos below that but I'll give you a little haul and then say goodbye. So most of the stuff that I got was is for uni it is the stuff that I had to source myself but um, starting with things that I don't need got a box because I saw on TikTok as a Valentine's Day gift that you cut all the like corners and then you like attach chocolates and when you take off the lid it like falls open and I thought that would be really cute to make from my boyfriend who is obsessed with chocolate and also who I want to ask to be my Valentine so we'll do that I also got some more hair ties because I'm always needing hair ties I cannot for the life of me keep track of them moving on to uni stuff I got some masking tape some magic tape a pencil case because i will need one to keep all the pens that i need so i need a this is an eraser and a pencil sharpener with a container then i also got some i'm gonna take out the cardboard then i had to get some super fine pens in certain colors each um, and also a piece of pencil with some extra HB leads. When we went to Spotlight, I had to pick up some safety pins, some hand sewing needles, some thread, three normal zips and then an invisible zip, a chalk marking pencil, and also A bolt of calico. It's actually not as much as it looked like on the list, but I got everything I needed. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, my next one will be much more interesting. Definitely a change of pace. It'll be a uni vlog. Not like official uni, but like 
it's still a uni vlog. I don't know. You, if you've watched all of this, then you'll know what I mean. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching as always, and I will see you in a week's time. So uh, take care, stay healthy and happy, and love you all. <laughs>